I cannot imagine a future where humans are not living on different planets around the universe. In my head, it is the only natural evolution for humans. And that means that somebody needs to design the homes that these future astronauts and explorers will live inside of. We want our students to experience the future here today on our campus. Uh, it is not only a space habitat, but also the world's biggest 3D printed polymer structure. And so that is inspiring for our students in many ways, from uh, an artistic point of view, from a technical point of view, uh, from a human, emotional, psychological point of view. And so it allows our students to get a 360 degree understanding of what the world of tomorrow will look like. The space habitat was meant during the Rosenberg uh, space program. It will be used in connection with the climate garden, just outside of it. And this space habitat was primarily designed to be a home for a spot, but we decided in process that we can also make some sort of experiment here, how, how, would, how people would live here. In this space habitat, you have um, all the technologies, computers, 3D printers, you have such a helpful t and &E. um, And some of the things which is really cool is like the data we gather here. Like all of the rooms here have different sensors ranging from temperature, humidity, CO2. And yeah, just being able to kind of make sense of that data is like really helpful. I really hope that we can learn something about how humans are going to live in outer space in the future and how they can live well. Because it's not just about survival, it's also thriving, feeling good, having good mental and physical well-being. Lift off.